for joining us this morning. My name is Courtney, and I want to know, what is your favorite thing to do in the summer? My favorite thing is spending time outdoors, either camping or going to the beach. And that reminds me, today we're going to talk about how we can have fun with our family. Let's discover our big idea for today. I can have fun with my family. That was amazing. Okay, let's get into our lesson and see what Chris is up to. Aloha, Ohana. That's how we say hello family here in Hawaii. I'm so glad you're here. My name is Chris, and it is my pleasure to show you around the beautiful islands of Hawaii. There are some pretty cool things you need to know about Hawaii, and I'm going to see if you can guess what they are. So let's play Two Truths. I'm going to tell you three things about Hawaii, but only two of them are going to be true. When I'm done, I'll give you a chance to shout out the one you think is not true. Okay, here we go. Number one, Hawaiians greet each other with a kiss. Number two, you can mail a coconut from here. And number three, there are no squirrels in Hawaii. Okay, which one do you think is not true? Shout out your answer. It's number one. Hawaiians don't greet each other with a kiss or even a handshake. Around here, we're all about the hugs, Ohana. But it's true, you really can write an address on a coconut, drop it in the mail without even putting it in a box. And nope, there are no squirrels here in Hawaii either. All right, I have some more fun facts for you. Let's see if you know which one is not true. Number one, people in Hawaii don't wear shoes inside their houses. Number two, there are no sharks in Hawaii. And number three, surfing was invented in Hawaii. Okay, which one do you think is not true? Shout out your answer. If you said number two, you're correct. There are definitely sharks in Hawaii. But how awesome is it that surfing was invented here? And I love how everyone leaves their shoes at the door when they come over to a party. Speaking of parties, let's all get on our feet and dance with our Ohana. and take your seat, Ohana. Luau's are so much fun. And did you know that God made us to have fun with our family? Kinda like this. Family challenge. Here we go. Eat 
spaghetti with crab claws. Yes! <laughs> Have you ever thought about all of the fun things the world is full of? Just think about what life would be like if we didn't have sports to play, or fish to catch, or an ocean to ride waves in or cake to eat at parties. God gave us so many amazing things to do that are fun because he wants us to enjoy him and the world he made. God made so many good things, including his most favorite creation, people. And after six days of creating the world, God was happy with everything he made. So he rested on day seven and made it special. This special day is called a Sabbath. God commanded his family to enjoy the Sabbath each week by setting aside one day to not do any work and just enjoy Him with the people they love. And thousands of years later, God's family still does this by doing things like coming to church on Sunday to celebrate God together. God also told His people to have festivals and feasts throughout the year to have fun celebrating all the good things He has given them. When God's Son Jesus came to live on earth with us for a little while, He went to these festivals and had tons of fun with His family and friends too. From the time Jesus was a little boy, His family took a trip each year from their small town of Nazareth to the big city of Jerusalem to celebrate the Passover festival. And Jesus did His first miracle when He was having fun at a wedding with His family and closest friends. Jesus' friends became his family as they traveled together telling people about God's love, and I guess that makes them family. There are so many stories in the New Testament part of the Bible where we can see Jesus having fun with his family, like the time Matthew invited him over for a dinner party, or when he went to hang out with Zacchaeus at his house. And we can't forget about the big feast Jesus planned for his disciples right before he died, or how they ate breakfast on the beach after he came back to life. Jesus had a lot of fun with his friends and family, even though some days weren't very fun at all. Now everybody knows that each day is not packed with fun. Even one of the wisest people to ever live knew that, and we can read the words God gave him in a book of the Bible called Ecclesiastes. That's where he says, there is a time for everything. There is a time to weep, and there is a time to laugh. There is a time to be sad and there's a time to dance. I have seen what is best for a person to do here on earth. He should eat and drink and enjoy his work. This is because the life God has given him on earth is short. Some days are going to be tough. And when that happens, think back through the day and see if you can remember one thing, even one small thing that was good. Then thank God for that thing and have fun with your family to celebrate. You can tell a joke, start a tickle fight, or play a game. Just don't forget to do what Jesus did and take the time to have fun with your family and friends. Or should we say, your family. I can have fun with my family. That's right. You can have fun with your family even when you have to do things that don't seem very fun at all. How to make cleaning fun. Cleaning up can feel like the most unfun job ever. So how do you make it fun? Turn it into a challenge. Step one, grab a basket. Step two, set a timer for two minutes. And step three, race to see who can fill up their basket with the right things, of course, and put it away before the timer runs out. Before you know it, everything will be cleaned up because time flies when you're having fun. Follow the pearl.
Is it in shell one, two, or three? Are you hiding around here? Hmm. I wonder where she is. Wait, what? She's over there? Oh, well, I guess I'll go look for her back at the beach. Right after I take a potty break behind this... No, no, no! Don't look at me! <laughs> Found you! Oh man! That was a fun game of hide-and-seek. Yeah, for you, you won! No, oh, you had fun and you know it. Y you know, people here in Hawaii must be big on not littering because I haven't seen one can here on the ground. Have you? No. But you know what I have seen. What? Two cans! <laughs> Get it? Because we're two cans! Dad must have told you another one of his dad jokes, huh? <laughs> you know it. They may be dad jokes, but at least he's trying to have fun. You can have fun with your family, too. Everybody, say this after me. I can... I can... Have fun... Have fun... With my family. With my family. <laughs> Oh, you remember that joke Dad told us and our new seagull friends on the beach yesterday? Hmm, I think I missed that one. He said, why does a seagull fly over the sea? Why? Because if it flew over the bay, it would be a bagel. <laughs> <sighs> Playing games and telling jokes are just two of the fun things you can do with your family. Reading the Bible and memorizing verses from it are fun too. Say our series verse after me, Ohana. Then I will teach you a fun game to play at home with your family. Love each other as brothers and sisters and honor others more than you do yourself. Romans 12, 10. Nice job, Ohana. Okay, when you're at home with your Ohana, you can write this Bible verse or any other you want to memorize on a sheet of paper and take turns covering up a word. Then see if your family can say the verse, including the word that's covered up without seeing it. Let's give it a try. I've already covered up some of the words in our verse, and I want to see if you can remember the words as we say the verse one more time. All right, say it with me. Love each. Yeah, love each other as brothers and sisters and honor others. Yeah, honor others more than you do. That's right, Romans 12. Yes, that verse is Romans 12, 10. Great job. Now, here's a song that will help you remember it. Get on your feet and sing along. our father good good father and we're all his sons and daughters we are brothers we are sisters we are family we can always stick together though we're different from each other we are brothers we are sisters we are family we're god's family loving and honoring we're not perfect but you'll see that we are family God's family, loving and honoring. We're not perfect, but you'll see that we are family. And God loves me and God loves you. In his family, there is room for our brothers, for our sisters. We are family. Let's forgive and get along. Let's do gather. We are strong. We are brothers. We are sisters. We are family. We're God's family, loving and honoring. We're not perfect, but you'll see that we are family. We're God's family, loving and honoring. We're not perfect, but you'll see that we are family. We're 
perfect, but you'll see that we are family. We're God's family, loving and honoring. We're not perfect, but you'll see that we are family. Let me tell you about the time my grandpa bought me and my sisters an old scooter. We went to an auction and we came home with a scooter, but it didn't work. So he let my sisters and me help him fix it up. He would call out a tool and we would pass it to him. And he would show us where to put different parts. And eventually we got that old scooter working again. My grandpa is so much fun because he would let us race down the street on it. And he would even set up obstacles for us to swerve around. One time, a kid at school said my life must be boring because I live with my grandparents, but that wasn't true at all. As you can see, my grandpa was so fun, and I love him very much. No matter what my family is like, God is my father. He is always with me. He will always love me. I can be a part of his family forever. Hello again, Ohana. I hope you're enjoying your time here on the island. We've seen families have fun together, get mad at each other, and tell us about their grandparents. Now, your family may look and feel different from all the families you've met today, and that's okay. Every family is different, but every family can have fun together. Let's see if you can remember a few things you've heard today by playing Let's Limbo! Every time you get a question right, I'll lower the limbo bar. After three questions, we'll see how low I can go. All right, true or false, Hawaiians greet each other with a hug. Yup, that's true. Okay, easy enough. Okay, next question, true or false, Jesus never had fun with his family. That is false. Jesus had fun here on earth with his family, his friends, and his family. Okay, it is getting kind of low. Oh, okay, all right, here's the last one. True or false, God wants you and your family to rest and have fun together each week. You've got it. God knew that not every day will be all fun all the time. But that's why God told us to set aside time each week to rest up and have fun. And his family did that on the Sabbath. Okay, here we go. Oh, that's pretty low. I don't know if I can limbo that low, but let's try it. Okay. I think that'll do just fine. That was awesome. The sun is setting our day in Hawaii together, but before you go, let's all bow our heads, close our eyes, and pray. Hey God, thank you for all the people I live with and all of our ohana at church. Please help us take time to celebrate all you've done and have fun together. We love you. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. Okay, Ohana, have a blast with your family this week, and I'll see you next time. Aloha! Do you like to have fun with your family? Maybe you do certain things every Tuesday or every Friday. My family likes to eat dinner together every night. We get to talk about our day, Share what we're doing when we're not at home. If you don't do anything fun or special with your family, maybe you can start something. Maybe you can get out a board game, ask your family to play with you. Maybe it's asking to go out to the park or get some ice cream. Oh, I know. One way that you can have fun with your family is to spend time reading God's word and praying together every day. It's something that you can start and it's so easy to do. That's all for today. Have a great week with your Ohana, and I'll meet you back here next week. Bye.